Welcome back to channel. The 1980s were a golden decade for Hollywood cinema, with the rise of great talents and faces who became global cultural icons. In this video, we'll look back at 20 actors that helped shape the golden age of television in the 1980s but are no longer with us. Before we begin, make sure you've subscribed and switched on the notification bell to stay up to date on the newest celebrity gossip. Let's get started. Number 20. Dixie Carter, born on May 25, 1939, in McLemoresville, Tennessee, was a renowned actress with exceptional acting skills and an impressive singing voice. She was best known for her role as Julia Sugarbaker in the sitcom series, Designing Women, which aired from 1986 to 1993. Unfortunately, Carter passed away in 2010 at the age of 70 due to complications from endometrial cancer. Her departure left a significant void in the entertainment industry and in the hearts of fans. She is remembered as a strong role model for women in the entertainment industry, and her career is seen as an inspiration for many generations of actors. Number 19. Alan Thicke, one of the most memorable actors and television hosts of the 1980s, was born on March 1, 1947, in Ontario, Canada. He became famous for his role as Jason Seaver, a psychiatrist and the father figure in the family in the TV series, Growing Pains. After, Growing Pains, Thicke continued to participate in various projects, from acting to producing and hosting. He passed away in 2016 at the age of 69 following a severe heart attack while playing hockey with his son. His departure left a significant void in the hearts of fans, but his legacy lives on through the works he left behind. Number 18. Charlotte Ray, born on April 22, 1926, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, left an indelible mark as an actress, singer, and comedian. Best known for her iconic roles as Edna Garrett, initially in the sitcom, Different Strokes, and later in, The Facts of Life, Charlotte Ray played a pivotal part in one of the most popular TV series of the late 1970s and early 1980s. After a courageous battle with bone cancer, she passed away in 2018 at the age of 92. Charlotte Ray is celebrated as a legend in the entertainment industry, whose remarkable performances brought laughter and inspiration to multiple generations of audiences. Number 17. Gary Coleman, a famous television actor, was born on February 8, 1968, in Zion, Illinois. He was beloved for his role as Arnold Jackson in the TV series, Different Strokes, where he coined the famous catchphrase, What You Talkin' Bout, Willis. Coleman was born with a congenital kidney disease which led to limited physical development and a small stature. Despite facing health challenges, he maintained his acting career for many years. Coleman passed away in 2010 at the age of 42 due to a head injury sustained from a fall. Despite the ups and downs in his life, Gary Coleman is still remembered as a cultural icon. Number 16. Florence Henderson, an American television icon was born on February 14, 1934, in Dale, Indiana. She is best known for her role as Carol Brady in the TV series, The Brady Bunch, which aired from 1969 to 1974. The character of Carol Brady, a devoted mother to her blended family, became one of the ideal mother figures on television. Henderson is also remembered for her optimistic spirit and love for both her own family and her fans. She passed away in 2016 at the age of 82 due to a heart attack. Her departure left a deep sense of loss among fans and the entertainment community, but the memories of her will endure. Number 17. 
Number 15. Sherman Hemsley, a celebrated television actor, was born on February 1, 1938, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He gained widespread recognition for his memorable portrayal of George Jefferson in the TV series, The Jeffersons, a successful spin-off of All in the Family, that aired from 1975 to 1985. Beyond his acting endeavors, Hemsley was known for his passion for music, particularly jazz and R&B, and even ventured into recording music. Sadly, Sherman Hemsley passed away in 2012 at the age of 74. He is fondly remembered as an icon whose contributions extended beyond entertainment, reflecting and challenging societal issues of race and social class through the medium of comedy. Number 14. Estelle Getty, a television and stage actress, was born on July 25, 1923, in New York City, New York. She is best known for her role as Sophia Petrillo in the TV series, The Golden Girls. In the role of Sophia, a sharp-witted and humorous woman, Getty became one of the most beloved characters of the series. Additionally, Getty was known for her advocacy for the LGBT community and her involvement in AIDS research. Estelle Getty passed away in 2008 at the age of 84 after a long battle with Louis body dementia. She left behind a significant legacy in the entertainment industry and is remembered as one of the great comedic actresses. Number 13. Rue McClanahan a famous television and stage actress, was born on February 21, 1934, in Healdton, Oklahoma. She is widely known for her role as Blanche Devereaux in the TV series, The Golden Girls, which aired from 1985 to 1992. Her portrayal of Blanche Devereaux made her one of the most beloved comedic actresses of that time. McClanahan passed away in 2010 at the age of 76 after suffering a stroke. Her departure left a profound mark on the entertainment community as she was remembered as a talented actress and a compassionate woman. Number 12. Gavin McLeod, a renowned television actor, was born on February 28, 1931, in Mount Kisco, New York. He achieved widespread recognition for his portrayal of Captain Merrill Steubing in the popular TV series, The Love Boat. Through the humorous role of the cruise ship captain, McLeod became a familiar and beloved face on television during the 1980s. Beyond his television success, he also made a significant impact as a stage actor, participating in numerous Broadway productions. Sadly, Gavin McLeod passed away in 2021 at the age of 90, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry and the memory of a widely beloved actor. Number 11. Farrah Fawcett, one of the prominent icons of 1980s television, was born on February 2, 1947, in Corpus Christi, Texas. She is best known for her role as Jill Munro in the TV series, Charlie's Angels. Although she appeared in only one season of the show, Fawcett left a lasting impression with her glamorous appearance and iconic flowing blonde hair. Her poster featuring the tousled golden hair and radiant smile became an iconic image of the decade. Fawcett passed away in 2009 at the age of 62 after a long battle with cancer. Her departure left a significant void among fans and in the entertainment industry, but her legacy and fighting spirit continue to endure. Number 10. Mary Tyler Moore, born on December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, became an American television icon during the 1980s. While her prominence may not have matched the peak of The Mary Tyler Moore Show in the 1970s, she continued to contribute to the acting scene. Engaging in various TV shows and films, 
Moore showcased her versatile acting abilities. Sadly, Mary Tyler Moore passed away in 2017 at the age of 80, leaving a profound sense of loss among her fans. Her legacy endures, not only as a talented actress but also as a trailblazing woman who portrayed independent and empowered female characters in society. Number 9. Valerie Harper, born on August 22, 1939, in Suffern, New York, was an actress known for her roles in television in the 1980s. She gained prominence for her portrayal of Rhoda Morgenstern in the TV series, Rhoda, a spin-off from The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Valerie Harper passed away in 2019 at the age of 80 after a long battle with brain cancer. Her departure caused much sadness within the fan community and the entertainment industry. She is remembered as an icon of strength and an independent spirit in her portrayal of women, as well as for her impressive acting talent. Number 8. Elizabeth Montgomery, born on April 15, 1933, in Los Angeles, California, was widely known for her role as Samantha Stevens in the classic TV series, Bewitched, which aired from 1964 to 1972. Elizabeth Montgomery passed away in 1995 at the age of 62 due to breast cancer. Her departure caused a profound wave of grief within the fan community and the entertainment industry. To this day, she is remembered as a television icon and a role model for many generations of actors to come. Number 7. Betty White, born on January 17, 1922, in Oak Park, Illinois, is an actress considered to be a legend of television with a career spanning over seven decades. White has made a profound impact on the entertainment industry. In the 1980s, she became widely known for her role as Rose Nilland in the beloved sitcom, The Golden Girls, which aired from 1985 to 1992. Betty White passed away in 2021 at the age of 99, leaving behind a tremendous legacy in the world of entertainment. Her departure created a wave of mourning worldwide, and she is remembered as a cultural icon and a trailblazer in age barriers in the entertainment industry. Number 6. Bonnie Franklin, born on January 6, 1944, in Santa Monica, California, was an actress widely known for her role as Anne Romano in the TV series, One Day at a Time, which aired from 1975 to 1984. This role helped establish her as one of the pioneering female faces on television, portraying the image of a strong and independent single mother. Bonnie Franklin passed away in 2013 at the age of 69 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. She is remembered as a powerful role model for women in the entertainment industry and contributed to changing perceptions of women's roles on television. Number 5. Aaron Moran, born on October 18, 1960, in Burbank, California was a famous actress primarily known for her role as Joni Cunningham in the popular TV series, Happy Days, airing from 1974 to 1984. Happy Days, was one of the most beloved sitcoms of its time, and Moran's character became an integral part of the series. Aaron Moran passed away in 2017 at the age of 56 due to complications from throat cancer. Her departure left a sense of sadness among her fans. She is remembered as a talented actress and contributed to creating beautiful memories during the golden age of American television. Number 4. 
Barbara Billingsley, born on December 22, 1915, in Los Angeles, California, was a television actress. She was widely known for her role as June Cleaver in the classic TV series, Leave It to Beaver, which aired from 1957 to 1963. This role turned Billingsley into an icon of the ideal mother figure in American households during the 1950s and early 1960s. Barbara Billingsley passed away in 2010 at the age of 94. She is remembered as a symbol of the ideal woman on screen, and her portrayal in Leave It to Beaver is still regarded as one of the most memorable images in American television. Number 3. Patty Duke, born Anna Marie Duke on December 14, 1946, in Elmhurst, New York, was a highly respected actress with an impressive career in both film and television. Duke gained fame at a very young age, particularly through her role in the film, The Miracle Worker, 1962, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress at the age of 16. Patty Duke passed away on March 29, 2016, at the age of 69 from complications of sepsis. She is remembered as a shining star in the film and television industry and as a strong, courageous woman in both her personal life and her work. Number 2. Peter Falk, born on September 16, 1927, in New York City, New York, was primarily known and beloved for his role as Detective Lieutenant Columbo in the television series, Columbo, which aired from 1968 to 2003. With this role, Falk created an unmistakable detective character famous for his rumpled raincoat and old Peugeot car. In addition to his acting career, Falk was also known as a talented artist. Peter Falk passed away in 2011 at the age of 83 after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. Although he has left us, fans will forever remember him as a legendary actor and a passionate individual. Number 1. Suzanne Plachette, born on January 31, 1937, in New York City, was an actress known for her warm and distinctive voice. She was most famous for her role as Emily Hartley in the sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, during the 1970s and continued her acting career in the 1980s with roles in television and film. Suzanne Plachette passed away in 2008 at the age of 70 after a long battle with lung cancer. The film industry and fans remember her as an icon of television and film, with her roles becoming classics. And that concludes our journey back in time to revisit the contributions of the top 20 famous these stars may no longer be with us, but their spirit and contributions continue to shine on. Please leave your comments in the section below. We would love to hear your thoughts on these stars. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any new videos from us. See you in the next video.